Utah Jazz and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Jazz with a big victory in this one and a huge blowout, 117-87. And this one, it wasn't close by the third quarter. This game was over and the Jazz now improved to 7-4. and four, And the Cavs fall to 5-7 and seven in this one. So the Jazz, Rudy Gobert in this one, 4 points, 10 rebounds, 2 or 7 from the field. So Gobert, he's been struggling the last few games here now for the Jazz. But I think Gobert, he'll be all right. He'll get things going, and he's a player that should be obviously owned in all leagues, and you should have confidence in him. He's going to help in rebounds, which he's still doing. He's going to help in blocks, but you just want to see these points per game go up. But with this game out of hand early, there wasn't much for Gobert to do in this one. Donovan Mitchell, another good game in this one. And Mitchell, he's starting to get those big scoring type of games, and his field goal percentage is going up over the last week or two. 9 of 15 from the field. 27 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, and 5 or 7 from 3. So Mitchell, if there was one knock on his game, it was his 3-point shooting and his field goal percentage. And right now it looks like he's improving as the games have gone on this season. It would be nice to see his assists go up, but I don't think that's a big deal. But Donovan Mitchell, he's playing well right now. And this Jazz team, they're starting to get on a roll. Bogdanovic, he had a good bounce back game in this one. 20 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 6 of 10 from the field, 4 or 6 from downtown. So Bogan, he's a player, he's going to be up and down this season. But you know his specialty is 3-point shooting and scoring. So that's what he's going to give fantasy owners. And if there's a time where he's not going to do a consistent, then he's a player you should get rid of on your fantasy team. But right now, he's been playing decent of late. Royce O'Neal, he was a recommended added forward this week on the waiver wire. Now he's had two bad back-to-back -back games, is O'Neal. Five points, three rebounds, four assists, two or five from the field, one or four from downtown. So O'Neal, he gives you a few stats here and there. But right now, his points per game have gone down. So if O'Neal struggles the next two or three games, he's a player that probably won't have value and should be dropped off for 10 and 12 team lead teams. Mike Conley, another decent line in this one. 27 minutes of play for Conley, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 or 10 from the field. Then he added 3. Three. So Mike Conley, he's been pretty solid this season. We saw him have some games over 20 points early in the year. I don't think we're going to get that from him. But anywhere 12 to 15 points with similar stat lines like this is what I could expect from Conley. Jordan Clarkson, he was another recommended pickup this week. And he's really taken off now as the sixth man here for the Utah Jazz. 21 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 and 9 from downtown in 28 minutes of play. So right now, Clarkson, he's scoring the basketball. And he's even rebounding at a decent point pace and getting a few assists as well. So Clarkson, he definitely has value in 10-team leagues or deeper. Onuni, he got a play in here. Favors and Jang, at this time, these guys don't have fantasy value. It was just garbage time in the third and fourth quarter here where the Jazz rested the starters. Now to the Cleveland side of things, Javon McGee, he got the start in this one. Andre Drummond, he was out with Achilles soreness. So McGee in the spot start, he had a mediocre game. Eight points, nine rebounds. Three assists for McGee, four for eight from the field. So McGee, these are the type of games he's going to have. Not crazy points, a good amount of rebounds and a few assists. But right now, he's only on 14 teams or deeper on the radar. Larry Nance, he had a bad game in this one. And he was a player I set to sell high this week. Because I don't think Nance's stat lines are all that great. But he's ranked in the top 30 so far on the season. And in this one, 6.7 rebounds. But he hurt you bad with his field goal percentage. 2 for 11 from the field. So Nance, he's never known as a scorer. He's more of an athletic forward and wingman is Nance and in this game it goes to show the inconsistencies he could have CD Osman another good game for him I gotta see a few more before he's worth a pickup though 17 points four rebounds and he added six assists a seven is 15 from the field but he didn't hit a three but CD Osman he's been decent now the last few games but like I said I got to see more consistency out of him and his numbers have gone up over the last few games because of Colin Sexton and Darius Garland still out so hopefully these guys could come back soon for the Cavs Damian Dotson another spot start for him with the injury to Sexton and Garland 11 points two rebounds three assists five for 11 from the field then he added a three so Dotson in deeper leagues he has value but right now in 10 team leagues I wouldn't pick him up 
Okoro, another start in this one for the rookie. 35 minutes, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 at 13, and 2 or 6 from downtown. So Okoro, he's going to have growing pains. He was an early round pick in the first round here for this Cleveland team. And now he's getting the opportunity with a bunch of guys out. Like I said, Garland, Sexton, and Porter. So Okoro in 12-team leagues and deeper, he's definitely worth the pickup because of his volume and minutes played. Pharrell, he played... 10 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. He don't have value. Stevens, Wade, Bolden, and Maker. They got no value at this time. So that was the Utah Jazz and Cleveland Cavalier box score.